I'm going to be downsizing a pair of men's 36 jeans that I bought on eBay. I started by removing the waistband, including all the belt loops, as well as the label because I wanted to keep the label on the jeans. I then started to break up the pants a little more by disconnecting the side seams. And then I unstitched the back seam. Because of the amount I had to resize the jeans, I removed the two yokes as well. And finally I unstitched both of the pockets. I used a pair of my jeans to gauge the crotch and I used pins to mark down how much I was going to remove from this area. I did the exact same thing for the front area as well. I then pinned all the sides together for a better fit. You can do that on a mannequin or as well on yourself. And here I just made little adjustments for a better fit. Next I unstitched the pockets because this is a detail I wanted to keep. Making sure not to cut the pocket at all, I cut around leaving about a one centimeter seam allowance. I did this to both sides, again making sure to keep both pockets entirely intact. Using measurements from another pair of jeans, I trace out how high I would like the jeans to fit, following the pin lines of the seams that I just created, marking it with pins, and then attaching the waistband again, just for reference. I make sure to include the width of the waistband into the new height I would like the jeans to hit. Here I'm putting pins where I'd like to place the new pockets. I use my measuring tape to make sure that they're equally symmetrical to the zipper. You might find it easier to use fabric markers to do the markings instead of pins, but either works. Now I'm pinning where I'm going to place the yoke and the waistband taking into consideration the height that I would like the back of the pants to hit. Once everything's all pinned down, I'm ready to sew the yoke and the back seam, leaving the side seam still open. I like to leave the extra fabric just in case I need a little bit of leeway after I try them on, but everything fit okay so I was ready to trim that fabric. I'm now ready to cut the front of the pants, so keeping in mind the height that I pinned earlier and including the height of the waistband, I'm going to trim leaving a 1 centimeter seam allowance. It's important that the zipper head is down at this point and the zipper is open, otherwise it will be impossible to reattach. I'm now adding a little bit of a safeguard just with a zigzag stitch to make sure that the zipper doesn't come off. Because I'm making so many adjustments to these pants, it's important to try them a lot during the process and make as many repinnings as I need to. And now I'm just making sure that my pocket markings that I made earlier are still where I'd like the pockets to be placed. And now without cutting the fabric, I'm attaching right sides together and sewing half of the pocket down. I'm not cutting the fabric during this phase, just in case I make a mistake, there's still the leeway of having that extra fabric there. But I do like the way the pocket fits, so I'm ready to cut away that extra fabric. And making sure to leave a one centimeter seam allowance. And then to continue sewing on the rest of the pocket. I'm going to iron that down and then do the exact same for the other side. And now with my yoke and back stitch that I did earlier, I'm just going to zigzag over that to keep all the frayed threads down trim the extra, and then go over it again. I'm now ready to pin the side seams as well as the inner leg seam. It's important again to try it on during this phase before you start to sew. 
but if you're happy the way that fits, then sew those two seams. Because of how big these pants were, the pockets are a little bulky, so I decided to take them in. And now I'm just trimming away all the extra on the inside of the leg as well as the side seams. On the yoke and the back seam, I'm gonna do a double top stitch. Most jeans have a double top stitch, so I'm just gonna duplicate what was already there. Okay, so it's now time to take in the waistband, and because of how much I'm taking it in, I need to cut three different slits. So I'm gonna start by unstitching everything and making it completely flat. And then I'm gonna cut a slit and reattach the band right faces together. And then I'm pinning a V to be able to create that circular shape from the waistband. Next, I'm taking the pockets because they're a little big as well, but that really depends on the look and the size of the pockets of your jeans. I'm gonna sew those right onto the pants, making sure to copy the stitches from the original jeans. Now I'm attaching the waistband and I'm gonna do a top stitch as well on the top of the waistband and reattach all the belt loops that I kept on. And my last step is attaching the logo and then you're all done.